the barcode is still the fastest, easiest, most consistent, most reliable, most accepted way to capture a piece of data, right? And so that's going to stick for a long time, right? So I work that in there, stick. You got to keep the stickers, <laughs> stuff, right? Um, be a second there, actually. Exactly. It's late in the day here on the East Coast. <laughs> <clears throat> You know, so there's a practicality, right? We all get involved with technology talks. We watch a TED talk or we'll see a, a cool new snippet on a, on a new piece of technology out there. And that's all well and good, right? But the ability to actually deploy and support and leverage that technology often is a big leap from kind of the stuff that came out of the Petri dish, right? right. And so... Those, uh, those, I forget what they're, they're called, but those little convenience store scanners that, that Mike was talking about earlier, man, they're, they're you know, a very inexpensive, very reliable, very consistent way to capture data. And everybody that's delivering a product or service into a C store or really any other sort of retail outlet, that, that, that merchandise is all pre barcoded either with a uh, a, a label that's attached to kind of a case or it's pa it's all the packaging and some of the nifty marketing people have actually converted barcodes into symbologies for their city or their particular product right so they'll bake the barcode right into the marketing um, piece in terms of identifying products out there so uh, Mike touched on the the, the e-com world let me tell you Jeff Bezos ain't Jeff Bezos without the barcode. There's no <laughs> way he's running the world's largest logistics operation without a barcode.